Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem. Press play when you're ready to solve it with me. There are two big theorems in polynomials uh, that we come across in Algebra 2, and that's, those are the factor and remainder theorems. <coughs> what it basically says is that uh, for the, the remainder theorem, in this case uh, right here, let's say you divide it by x plus 4. With the remainder theorem, we look at what happens when you divide by x minus c. And what it says is that if you plug in c into your polynomial, you get the remainder. That's what it says. Now in this case, we don't have x minus, you have x plus 4. And that means that, I'm going to write this over here, we can rewrite it to fit the theorem as x minus negative 4. Now we're in this structure. So in this case, c is equal to negative 4. And, there, and the idea is that if we plug in negative 4 into g of x, not p of x here, Sorry, we're dealing with g of x, so c is negative 4. If we plug in negative 4, we get the remainder. But the remainder we're getting is what? It's 0. So that's where the factor theorem comes into play. It says it's an if and only if statement, but it says basically um, if, if your remainder is 0, then the thing you're dividing by is a factor. In other words, there's no remainder, so it divides evenly into it, and it's a factor of that polynomial. And here, that's exactly what's happening. So, which conclusion about g of x is true, right? Okay, x minus 4 is a factor of g of x. No, no, we are looking at x minus negative 4. That's not true. g of 4 is 0. <coughs> there they're hoping you're plugging, you'll see this positive 4 and plug that in. That's not true, but really they were plugging in negative 4. If you plug in negative 4 and get 0, that's what's happening here. Don't confuse that, right? The remainder theorem is built around dividing by x minus c. Um, and that's our answer. So the factor and remainder theorems are essential in understanding these types of questions. All right, hope that helped.